Mariners hosting the Marlins. The Marlins are plus 120 on the money line. The Mariners are minus 145. The over-under, seven runs. The Marlins getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 175, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Mariners laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 145, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. Neither one of these pitchers pitched against the opposing team either last year or this year. The Marlins are 7-3 and three as a team in Cabrera's last 10 starts. They've won his last three starts. He's averaging five innings pitched and seven strikeouts per game in those games, so he may be a guy that you keep an eye out for on the K-line, depending upon what the casino set it at. And the Mariners are 6-4 and four as a team with Kirby on the mound. He's averaging six and a third innings pitched and 5.2 strikeouts per game in his last 10 starts. Head to head, the home team is eight and two. The Mariners have won the last two games against each other against the Marlins. The Marlins are six and four against the Mariners in their last ten. The favorite is seven and three on the money line, and the favorite winning these games by two runs or more, laying a run and a half, is also seven and three. There's only been one one run game in their last ten meetings. The over is hit in their last two. The over under is five and five, and the over seven is five, three, and two. For those people who are concerned about the wind, it is blowing out from second base or home plate, however you want to describe it, towards dead center field at 8.1 miles per hour. The last game they played against each other, which was yesterday, the Mariners crushed the Marlins 8-1, to one, and I was on the wrong side of that game. I had the right idea, but I just picked wrong. I didn't think the travel would affect the Marlins the way that it did, and obviously I was wrong. I should have just went with the Mariners because of the travel. The game before that, the Mariners won 7-3. The game before that, the Marlins won 3-1. The game before that, the Marlins won 8-6. And their last handful of games overall, the Marlins are 8-2 in their last 10 and 2-2 two two in their last 4. 3 runs, 6 runs, 11 runs, 9 runs. 1 run and a loss, 5 runs and a win, 6 runs and a win, 1 run in a loss. The Mariners are 2-2 two two in their last 4 and 4-6 four and six in their last 10. 4 runs, uh, 9 runs, 8 runs, 13 runs, and 9 runs. 4 runs and a loss, 6 runs and a win, 4 runs and a loss, 8 runs and a win. Now, was yesterday a fluke, or is that bound of things that are bound to happen again today? I understand all of the numbers say to take the Mariners because the favorite wins and the favorite wins by 2, and the home team is doing great. So, for that reason, I'm going to take the Mariners. Mariners with the money line, Mariners laying the runs. I'm going to go over. Something in my gut is telling me, though, that Cabrera will at least have a decent game, but I could be entirely wrong. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.